So this is the worst area of this of this place. Some spills. It was the same thing there too, but it's as I was spraying, already uh, cutting it, you know? So it's a good news. But otherwise, carpet is not too, too bad. It's a rental, by the way. We got like four rooms. Three other over there. No hallway. Well, hallway is actually hardwood <laughs> when I say no hallway. All right, so yeah, that's 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 a little bit about it. So as I sprayed, right, as you can see, it's coming out. Now what I have sprayed here is uh, peroxide base cleaner, I boosted with citrus and all that, so it helps uh, remove this. All right, so. Let me see. Once I extract this, it's gonna go away anyway. Alright. See? Disappears. Like magic. Yeah, it's just uh, things you need to use the, the proper chemistry. Now, if the customer have sprayed uh, like a shelf product you know a product from the shelf right that's what I mean by shelf product they could have made it worse then I have no way to remove it All right so there you go now this way I have a great chance of getting rid of this and again it's a rental I mean you gotta you can show this to the, to the new renters, right? So that way they'll gross out, and then now we have to replace the whole carpet, right? So this is the reason never ever spray anything on these uh, spilled stains, so that way you don't make them worse because that way you can probably make them permanent, and that's you will not be able to remove them unless if you do patching I don't know if you want to do patching there getting some kind of a uh, you know pieces from the closet right yeah you can remove them if you know what you're doing you can actually do something about it but you have to know what you're doing right so don't touch it until you call them uh, the professional so now my pre-spray have completely broke the uh, the chains of this uh, stain. So now the next important thing is removing it completely. I gotta flush this thoroughly so that way you know it doesn't wick back up again and all that. Once it dries it may wick back again but I need to flush it very 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 thoroughly and make extra dry passes that's that's how we deal with these So completely gone, eh? So that was not a challenge at all because uh, they haven't touched it. That's why it was not a challenge at all. It was easy, uh, easy uh, move. You know, it was. Easy. I was able to remove it or get rid of it easily, right? So for the last three days, I'm actually using my uh, Mighty rather than my Monsoon because Monsoon actually has 
a very minor problem, and that is the uh, the auto dump. The auto dump completely stopped working, so now I have ordered the the, the, the pump, and it's coming today hopefully. And I will put it back on the new one and uh, start working again. That was the only issue, a minor issue actually since uh, I bought it, uh, it's been like what, a year and a half now, something like that. Otherwise everything still works, everything still, well, still works uh, nice and solid. It's gonna come very nicely. So I'm using my wand for this one because it's not that bad, doesn't need any type of sort of uh, heavy duty restoration. Because we cleaned this uh, eight years ago, right, this was a rental, so they're calling us after eight years. Whoever rented this place, that's the only place that needed some attention but uh, the rest is not bad they have taken care of very nicely uh, the carpet that's an ideal uh, person to find as a renter right so you gotta be careful when you're renting people when you're a property you need people like these you know they're not destroying your your property your flooring or your, you know, your walls. I can't believe it. It's been eight years. It's not that bad. <laughs> 